Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at three useful tips that you can incorporate into your daily withering waves routine to help you get ahead. The first one I'll share right now is how to get free weapon XP. So you want to go to this location down here in the Forbidden Forest. This is the first of three locations, by the way. You can teleport right over there. And basically what you're going to do here is go through a little route, if you will, that gives you free weapons that you can then trade for weapon XP. So you're going to drop down the cliff and you're going to notice these statues. You want to break these. You can just basic attack them once, basically. And just take a look at the screen there. You see drop me weapon right there, the sword, and then the rectifier. And you just keep going down this trail. You're going to keep seeing these statues break every single one. Now, this is the first of three locations, uh, as I mentioned. This one involves statues that you have to break. And you're going to run into some enemies along the way too. This is actually, I'd say, probably the, the longest and the least sort of ROI positive, if you will, of the three locations. The others are pretty easy because everything is kind of bunched up in a couple of key locations. But basically, you can just go down this route every single day as part of your daily routine. It takes maybe a couple of minutes. Get rid of the enemies. Break the statues. Take the weapon XP. Rinse and repeat every 24 hours, basically. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get to the second location. In fact, the second and third locations are adjacent to one another. They're right next to each other over there in Gubei Pass. You can teleport right here. So I actually did them backwards, even though I tracked one of them, I went to the other one. Basically, you go to the exile camp. That's where the weapons are. And what you're going to do is infiltrate their camp and steal their weapons. Fun, right? So you can jump over this area here. You're going to run into some exiles. You might as well clear these, by the way, because they do drop uh, the rings and all the other materials you may need for you know, leveling up and, and what have you. So you might as well clear them as part of your, your daily routine. And you're going to notice a bunch of weapons stacked against walls, on boxes, on the floor. You can just pick these up. And then you can, of course, again, trade them in whenever you need to level up some weapons. So there's a few here. There's a few cross from there as well, next to the big chair where the cat is sitting. And then there's some in this trailer right over here too. You might as well break these boxes too, by the way. They do give you some shell credits. You could also, in theory, use the shell credit food. If you're short on shell credits, it could be a good way to uh, boost that up too every day. It's connected to another region as well. If you do want to get more exiles for mats, you can do that by crossing the bridge. Otherwise, you just drop down for the second location. So you just drop down over there. There are going to be more exiles here to clear. Again, you might as well do it just for the mats. Why not? It's not much of a time investment. Okay, so once you've fought those guys, you can head over here. And this is where the final location is. You clear these guys too. And then once you've fought all of them, you're going to notice a bunch of weapons again laying around. You just pick these up. Once again, free XP. There's some more over here in the trailer. Pick those up too. There's some behind as well. You can just run over there and get those. So it may not seem like much, but all of this XP does stack up. And if you do this every 24 hours, you're going to have no trouble leveling things up at all. By the way, did I mention it? This was shared to me by a community member of mine called Murderman. I don't know what you look like, Murderman, but I bet it's a little bit like this. All right, so for tip number two, let's head over to the data merge. You're going to notice the filter icon in the bottom left there. And what I like doing is actually filtering all of the stats that I find are useless. Like, for example, I just pick defense percentage. All of the echoes I'm going to see now are defense percentage main stat echoes. So I could just do auto select and every single one, as you can see here, is going to have defense as the main stat. So I know that it's safe to get rid of all of these, basically. So I can go ahead and click data merge and just keep doing this until I've exhausted all of them defense main stat echoes, basically. Nice, and we rolled and we actually managed to get something <laughs> relatively useful there, so that's good. Now, to go further into this, one thing I like to do is basically clear out all of the useless main stat echoes. So uh, that's for me, that's HP, HP percentage, defense, defense percentage, and healing bonus. Once I've done that, once I've gone through all of that and I've cleared them out, I start getting into the offset elemental bonus ones as well, which is really good to do. So for example, let's pick fusion here. You're going to notice there's a bunch of like havoc echoes that have fusion bonus here as the main stat. I obviously am never going to use those. Well, not for now anyway. So I can select those five as well and get rid of them and keep doing this uh, ad nauseum basically until I've cleared all of my useless echoes and once again, there we have it. I'm going to lock this. So whenever you get anything useful, you can just click lock. And there you go. That's not so useful. So we're probably going to get rid of that one too. 
That tip, by the way, was shared to me by some community members. Again, of course, Access and Ryu. So thank you, Access and Ryu. Again, don't know what you guys look like, but I bet it's a little something like this too. All right, so one bonus tip actually while you're leveling up Echoes, you can actually click the show unequipped and filter by the main stat that you want to prioritize. For example, attack right now. I'm going to see all of my one cost Echoes in this case with the attack main stat first. This is a really easy way to do it. Now let's say we do that from four cost and I want to have crit rate. Well, I could do that and I'm going to see crit rate first. So easier way to kind of level these up. Again, this is a great tip from from excess in this case, so thank you. Final tip I'm going to give for this video is cooking. You can select resonators who can give you bonuses. So let's do that as an example for the Kudzu Konge. You're going to notice I rolled 10, I'm going to get 9 of the ordinary one, and then one special one that only Tao Chi in this case can make. And it's actually going to give you slightly better stats. So just a quick tip for cooking as well. If you need those food buffs to clear certain things, you can do it this way. And there you have it. That's it for the tips for today. So thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a ton. I also stream over on Twitch almost every single day. So please feel free to stop by and say hello over there too. I will leave the link to my Twitch channel in the description of this video. And otherwise, thank you. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one.